Hi, this is Harish Pali from Technofair.com. In my opinion, Snapseed is the best photo editing app that's available for smartphones. It's owned by Google. It has many good features which are normally not available in other photo editing apps like selective blur, brush, transform, lens, etc. I have been using this app for a few months now. Let me now head over to my mobile device to demonstrate the same. For ease of this tutorial, I have connected my Android device with the system. Go to Play Store to download this app, Snapseed. S N A P S E D. I have already got it installed on my Android device, so I am opening it. Open Gallery. I've got few images on my device, so I'm going to use from the folder Harish. Let's say this is the sunset image which I want to edit. Click on this pencil shaped icon on the bottom right. So this opens a host of tools and filters. First part of this app is all about tools and the second part is about filters. So we'll start with tools first and the first one I'm going to discuss is tune image. To explore various options, I just need to swipe vertically on the screen to adjust brightness, contrast, saturation and various options. So if I am at brightness, I can move from right to left like this and reduce the brightness. Similarly, I can go on the opposite direction to increase the brightness. And if I find this to be good enough, I simply need to tap on this right button and image is saved if I tap on save. Photo will be saved shortly. Let's go back to the home screen by clicking on this pencil icon, details. This can be used to increase or decrease the sharpness or structure of the image and details is a handy tool for that. Crop. With this, I can catch the selected portion with different aspect ratios. Rotate simply means rotating the picture in different direction. Transform. Let me put another image to demonstrate transform. I have selected a different image for transform. Swipe up. This is vertical perspective, horizontal and rotation. So let's say if I am on horizontal perspective, I just move my mouse to one direction of the screen and then to the other. This gives a horizontal perspective to the image as if the image was shot from a far left. And similarly, if I try out on the vertical perspective, I can still make changes like this or like this and then save the image at the point I need to save. Let me go back to the home screen and choose a different image to demonstrate this function brush. Brush, tap on this brush icon and there are various options dodge and burn, exposure, temperature and saturation. So let's say I start with exposure and simply rub your screen on the portion where you want to give exposure like this and you can actually see the difference which is happening on the picture. All the places where I am rubbing on the screen, picture is becoming more and more bright, which is very clearly evident and visible. So this is how various brush options can be used. Go back to the home screen, selective. I use this option to work around with brightness, saturation and contrast of images taken in dark. Few days back, I took a pic of my son in dark. Let me make it visible using this tool. Tap on this plus icon and drop it at the point where you want to enhance the selection. Using this tool, you can make precise selection and enhancement to the specific area of the image using a pinching gesture to view the area that will be affected. Like this, I am using a pinching gesture on the device and reducing its area. Now I can simply move from right to left to decrease the brightness and other side to increase the brightness. Swipe finger vertically on the screen to make changes in saturation. Move right to increase the saturation and vibrancy of the image. Go back to the home screen. Healing can be used to remove patches. Let me show it through another image. There's this little patch on the wall which I'm going to remove through healing. Go back to edits, healing. You can easily zoom on the mobile screen now this is the patch that I want to heal. Simply rub it on the device like this and leave it and patch is removed. Vignette is a tool used to enhance the outer and inner brightness of a picture taken in dim light. Tap on the part of the image that you want to enhance. Use a pinching gesture to expand or restrict the size of the image 
like I am doing it right now on my mobile device. So I have reduced it to minimum level like this. Swipe vertically on the screen to expand either the outer brightness or inner brightness of the pic. So I am currently working on outer brightness and I am increasing it. So I may also go and change the inner brightness of the pic and if needed I can move this around to any part of the screen. Now let me make changes in the inner brightness and increase it. So this pic is now comparatively more visible. Back to the home screen. Let's explore some of the filters. Lens blur. Let me choose a different image to demonstrate this function. This is a good tool to select the object in its original state and make rest of the portion blur. So I am going to move this to the face of the girl and move my finger on the screen right to left and left to right. So object is clear while all other things are blur. I can also make certain changes in the layout by tapping on this and choosing any of these layouts. Back to the home screen, Glamour Glow. Glamour Glow has got 5 presets. You can make your own adjustment with these sliders. Just see the differences. This effect is great on portrait, landscapes and still life images. It's an easy way to get something similar to an autumn effect. Back to home screen, total contrast. It allows you to make adjustments to the contrast in specific tonal ranges. Also very useful are the protect shadows and protect highlight sliders which should help prevent clipping. HDR scape is high dynamic range. One can use HDR scape filter to transform a single photo into a tone mapped masterpiece. Generally I don't use it as I end up spoiling the original feel of the picture by overdoing it. Drama can be used to give illusionary effect to the image. Grange. This is used in photography when promoting horror and scare, giving a viewer a feeling of dread and fear. Grainy film. You can give old effect to the picture by moving from left to right and picture looks old. Vintage can be used to create nostalgic photo and make any photo look like it was shot in vintage years. Control brightness and saturation and add unique filters using vintage. Like this, you can make changes. Back to the home screen, Retro Lux. It has randomized option for a lucky dip combination of effects. You can tap on this and choose from various options. Back to the home screen, Noir can be used to create moody cinematic black and white images with darkroom inspired toning and wash effect. Black and white. Here I can use some of the black and white filters of the image. Frame. Here I can choose from a different frames for the image. I can easily save the edited image by tapping on this right sign and then tap on save. So image is saved. By tapping on these three dots on the top right, you can see the image details or can also share it with others on other social media including WhatsApp and Facebook. I hope you will enjoy editing your photos using Snapseed. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.